part two of this series, how to tie a tie, I'm going to show you the half Windsor. And if you're using a 100% silk, like this one, a lot of your high-end northern Italian ties are going to be pure silk, and so they tend to have a thinner texture to them than your blends or your heavier wool uh, ties or cottons. So what you do, again, I, based on my height, take the smaller end, line it up with the second to the last button on my shirt, and then pinch the underside with my thumb, flip it over. This is the most important part of tying this tie. So this part of the tie right here, you want to crease. So you basically are making almost like a tube or a channel. So you take your finger, your index finger, and you pull it through and make a nice crease. If you get this part of the tie, the rest is simple. So you got to make sure this is uh, laying nice. You saw that the tie is coming through and it's got like equal channels, almost like a water slide. Again, when you're done, you take it, flip it over, and then you're going to flip it up and through, and then you finish it right here. What I like about this tie option is if you want the little dimple, you can simply put your index finger here and make the dimple. Uh, and it should be a little bit asymmetrical. So in other words, it shouldn't look perfectly symmetrical as if it were a full Windsor. And uh, I like the little dimple. Again, you see the top is kind of on a slant, which is what you want. Fold it over. And again, you've got the bottom half a little bit longer than the top half, which is how the Italians are wearing it right here. So this is called the half Windsor, and you want to use this on your thinner pure silk ties.